Hi, this is Ryan Tips, the Mid Atlantic columnist with D3Football.com, doing my first D3 report of the season. Uh, this today, I'm coming at you from Blackstock Stadium in Greencastle, Indiana. The uh, last game of the regular season every year, I kind of take a break from the Mid Atlantic and come up and see my alma mater play in one of Division III's greatest rivalry games, the Monon Bell game, where Wabash takes on DePaul annually. This is the 118th meeting of the Monon Bell, and in the past three or four years or so, it's kind of been a curse to come into this game at 9-0. However, Wabash put that curse to rest. Uh, they came in undefeated, and unlike the last three times in the past four years when a team came in undefeated, Wabash actually came away with the win. It was a score of 45-7. to um, a very similar score to what we saw last year in this game when Wabash uh, at the time beaten an undefeated DePaul University 47-0. to uh, Today the game was pretty much decided on some, some big plays on special teams and by the defense. If you look at the stat sheet, I have not seen it in front of me yet, but if you look at the stats, you'll probably be surprised that despite putting up 45 points, Wabash... Uh, actually had very little offense, um, but what was the uh, the game changer was uh, two pick six uh, plays that uh, that Wabash had uh, had scored on, and a West Chamley punt return, um, all of which accounted for 21 points. Uh, the two pick six were uh, by o uh, linebacker O'Neill and defensive back Coop. Um, and Wabash showed uh, fairly well that they had a seemed to have a fairly balanced attack. DePaul was able to uh, move the ball a little bit. They scored uh, in the second half uh, after the run game kind of got going a little bit. But uh, after a 24 and nothing uh, first half, it was pretty clear that this uh, this game was was over by the by almost the first quarter. So uh, it is a cold and windy afternoon here in Greencastle, Indiana, and uh, I'm going to sign off now. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of the celebration behind me, and I am Ryan Tips for D3Football.com.